All right, so Alpha Rad has a eight world, 35 course super world that we're hopping on today, y'all. That we are hopping on today, boys. So this is his second super world. Um, the first one was just like a world that was kind of clumped together, a bunch of levels he already made. This is the world he's built from scratch. 35 levels, eight worlds, super alpha rad world. I'm excited. So we're gonna hop on, uh, we're gonna hop on this and see what's good and go from there, okay? Timer check, timer's good. Triards and chat, boys. Lift off in five, four, three, two, one. Hit me. And of course, the infamous words here, how hard gonna be? All right, world one, 30 lives. I'm in, I'm, I'm in this, I'm in this bitch. Oh shit. Okay, I, I admit I ran, uh. Um. Hmm. Okay, okay, I got it now. You get damage boost and then super jump off of the mole when you get it to the next section. Ooh boy, okay. Yeah, this is like a really uh interesting. Okay, all right. Whew, shit. All right, man, we, we coming in here. Wait, how, do, how does someone get three seconds? I mean, I'm not, I'm not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. I got, I got 35 levels here. Not even gonna worry about that cheese right there. Definitely cheese though. All right. All right. Ugh. Okay. Yoshi's last stand. Okay, man, that doesn't that doesn't sound very very family friendly. Are you a plussy? D dare I even ask what that, what that means? stupid right now dude this is this is a this is such a pleasant surprise dude there we go all right okay hang on, hang on. I, I got i got a, i got a deal right now i got a deal okay all right listen listen oh man okay listen uh this is it's, it's such a wholesome story okay so it's so, okay so you all you all know Dan. Dan is the homie. Dan is like Mr. Twitch OG, right? Okay. The I wonder if Dan remembers here. And I, if, if he's if he's probably going to lunch right now, so I, I tell the gay he's not here right now. But like me and Dan met 
I think we met at TwitchCon 2016. And I want to say... Okay, I'm trying to think. Okay, right, right. I don't want to make up a story here, but like, okay, all right. It, it, it's a little bit of a derail here, okay? But like, so what happened here was me and Dan met on the way to um on the way to the restroom at some place we were at when we were at TwitchCon, right? And it was TwitchCon 2016, if I recall correctly. I don't think it was 17. And the thing there is that like, okay, so when we were together. Keep in mind here, contextually, if you've never been to TwitchCon here, you know, you got, you got like, you got two global emotes walking side by side. So it's like anyone's going to come up to us and be like, oh, oh my God, I want to, can, can I get a selfie? Can I get a picture? Hey, can you, you want to, yeah, I'm, I'm vlogging. You want to be my vlog, bro? And it's like, what are you going to do? Tell them no, fuck off. So it's like, of course, I want to, what, why were we, okay. I don't remember why we were walking to the restroom together. Not that there needs to be a reason, obviously, but just like, there was something going on and like something super awkward happened. And we both like, we both only spoke of the awkward thing that happened once we were in the restroom. Like, I don't remember. It was like, that was pretty awkward. Right. He was like, yeah, that's pretty awkward. So I think we were, I think we, I think we like encountered a really awkward fan. I say fan. I mean, it could have been, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Like I kind of like, I don't remember what the person did. I only remember how I felt after. And it was like, and that was really awkward, bro. And he was like, yeah, it was pretty awkward. And then we just like, you know, whatever, right? And then like washed our hands and then we kind of like moved on from there. But that was our, uh, whatever happened there. Okay, I'm up to here. Ask Dan when he comes back from his like lunch break and he's doing his PM stream. Ask him what happened because he might remember it better than me. But I remember that was like, that was where we like, we bonded over the cringe. Try ha. And that is like, uh, and yeah, we've been cool ever since. Okay, cool. That story was not that important, but uh, you know, Dan's gaming is my boy, so hopefully that was a hopefully that was a a a, a, a cute wholesome reminder of uh, how far back we go. Engage, level three. Oh man! By the way, I love TwitchCon, so whenever whenever the Rona is over, I've definitely uh get fucked. All right, level three. <clears throat> Will TwitchCon be in San Diego again? No, TwitchCon 2020 is canceled entirely. That was our that was announced last month. The Ronas is it's, it's just too too unsafe to do, honestly. What's it called? Underground entrance. I think that's possible, but it's like, it's really particular. You'd, you'd have to come off of, you have to like do a wall jump and it might, might be a little too far horizontally here. In my head, I, I know what it would take, but it, it's a very unforgiving jump, so. <clears throat> but it would take me probably like 10 minutes of like trying to get it, but it would be pretty cool to get. But it's not that important though. It'd be, it'd be a cool flex for a stream. And I'm pretty sure World Record probably gets it a uh, first try. I know it's gonna do that again. All right, look, look, watch. One in chat if you are the world record holder. See, there it. All right, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
lying on the internet, y'all. It's 2020 and y'all still, y'all still lying on the internet, dude. That's crazy. Why would y'all do that? not lying it's alternative facts all right you know what okay while we're on this topic here uh speaking of alternative facts and you know idiots like uh i actually i forgot her name now um Kathleen Conaway, whatever her name is. Speaking of uh, stupid shit, did y'all see that um, Florida had a, God, what was it? It was like 11,000 cases today before noon, like 11,000 confirmed new cases of, of COVID-19 before noon today. And like, it's just like, damn dude, like Disney World is currently like scheduled to open in late July, I think. And it's just like, oh my God, dude, like, Bro, it's it's so bad. It's like stop, just just stop, dude. Like, like what's to blame right now? The governor, the people, like they don't give a shit. I, I just I don't understand. Like, um, honestly, yeah, I, I, they want schools to reopen. Uh, Betsy DeVos is a, is a moron who's saying that she's going to deny funding to schools that are not reopening, and it's like, it's literally putting an unwinnable burden on the education system because it's like, yeah, they can't make it safe. Like, what are you gonna do? Like. There's, there's no there's no measure you can do other than like not not opening dude i don't know it, it's just mega fucked it, i don't even know what to tell parents at this point like i don't know like fuck it don't 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 bring your kids to school i guess is he's opening tomorrow that's tomorrow dude oh god but that was like late july that's ugh. Anyone gonna confirm on that? Is that is it actually tomorrow? Are they still opening tomorrow? Yeah, that is so. Mm, I forgot I did that one wrong, honestly. Oh boy. Yeah, reopening schools is a big yikes. It's it's just. Look, see, I, I knew somebody got world record on that. Uh, four seconds. You can you can super cheese that level. I knew it. People are refusing to wear a mask. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I I I really don't know. You know. Um. I remember at one point this was like called a um at some point this was dubbed the boomer remover but that was like back in march when it was like exclusively old people who were being senile and just like not taking it seriously or whatever where we are now is just like it's like it's, we're so far down the rabbit hole now where it's like i don't know it's like people were just like from what I've seen, they just look, they, they like double down on the religiosity and they're like, oh, well, God has a plan. And again, I'm not being anti-religious here, but God has a plan. So if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And a mask isn't going to stop God's will anyway. Or, or I don't know. It's just, how do you, what do you even say at that point? I don't even say at that point, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't know what you can do with so you tell me because I'm I'm honestly lost. I just don't know what to do there.
Oh, it's got it's got real really quick. And what in the fuck is this shit? You gotta go. 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 Hey, true ending. Oh my god, gassy toadette. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <sighs> you know, I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to. Oh my god, dude. The the e the e e emotes. Yeah, man, it's like just I I don't know what the end point is here, y'all. It's like the U.S.'s unpreparedness to deal with a, a a national, really global, but particularly a national pandemic threat. Total lack of uh, precaution, being proactive, preparedness, then denial of the situation, hoping it'll just blow over, doesn't, and then. Now, then it becomes a culture war where it feels like wearing a mask is a political statement in some situations to the point where some of the most deranged people, even when their loved ones directly die of COVID-19, they just pivoted to, well, I usually tell them the joke about the guy drowning that had multiple boats sent to him by God and God asked him why he didn't use any of the support he gave. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. People are. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you, Sing, for the five dollars there. And yeah, that's a that's a good story to tell them. Actually, it's just like the conspiracy theories will go so wild there because they're like, yeah, you know, they died, but we don't know. We don't know all the facts. We don't know why they died. And it's like, uh, okay. And I don't. I don't know. It's like you wonder at. What point will it click to them that this is the reality, things are happening for a reason, and the reason may be within explanation, but it doesn't fit their worldview or narrative that it, it's not like, I don't know, it's not a conspiracy, it's not 5G, it's not microchips, it's not a, it's not a government ploy to make a vaccine that makes you obedient and lose your will, it's not a government tyranny, it's not lack of your own uh, ambition, control, or whatever, it's not... The Democrats trying to sabotage Trump for 2020. It's not like it's all these things you look at, but it's like, what if it's just COVID-19? What if it's just that? And if you just like, why don't you, why don't you entertain that idea and just wear the mask and you can, and you can still do all your, all your bullshit. You can, you can, you can be on freaking conspiracy Andy all day if you just, but entertain that one, the one that's most probable grounded in the most reality grounded in the most in the biggest of collaborations because all, all the countries are coming together to scheme you or whatever like 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 flat earth, like flat earthers believe here just entertain that one alongside the other ones here like sure you can be a moron just be a moron and wear the mask <sighs> i don't know dude it's just yeah all i can tell y'all is if, if it feels like we're going to be into this shit going into 2021 for sure like this is going to be like another like 12 to 18 month thing and, and most certainly, we're going to be like in a post-Rona world. I don't even know what's going to happen there.